Good morning, people. Welcome to vlog day three in Bar Harbor. It's Wednesday, the 2nd of September. Um, we're going out for breakfast right now. I got like negative 47 hours of sleep since there were these like six-year-olds like in the room next to us yelling and throwing temper tantrums. So that's pretty great. But um, we're going for crepes again and there's really nice uh, there's an extensive amount of fog right now, which is kind of cool. So I might do some photos then. Um, speaking of photos, last night we uh, got some got some sick shots. I went back to Jordan's pond for for star photos. I'll probably show some photos up here. I think I did a nice panorama, and then we went near the top of Cadillac Mountain to do some more photos. And I caught some cars doing. Uh, just driving down and we got some light trails so I really like those and that's about it that's about it for recap for last night and um, this morning nothing nothing uh, nothing planned I think just going for breakfast and then uh, I think later in the night we're supposed to do a cruise of some sort or a tour of some sort but uh, that's all I've got for you and uh, let's start today We, uh, we have gotten the strawberry milk. Uh, is there anything else you're looking for? Do we want more junk food? We probably want more junk food, right? We got two of them. I don't know why we just got two strawberry milk, but you know, <laughs> whatever. Why I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling that blueberry milk vibe, so I might try to convince my parents to get us blueberry milk. No, that sounds gross. What? It sounds interesting. <laughs> it what do they say about trying new things? I don't know. I would like to try it. Who knows? Uh, welcome to the bubbles. Uh, we're going on a hike. Naturey stuff. Are we ready to uh, visit the bubbles? Oh yeah. Uh, we we decided we're going, we're going to do the, the South Bubble, whatever that means. Um, <laughs> so apparently, someone is a ten out of ten of map design. The dot says we are here, but then if you look at the map, there's no dot on it. So we don't exist. It's fun. Um, so we're going to do some hikey stuff, and maybe I'll do some footage or photos or something. It's gonna be cool. Are you ready? We're gonna have to use our energy and our muscles. Muscles, whatever that means. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's hiking time. Welcome to the beginning of hike. Uh, we are heading towards, what is it, the bubble? The bubble bubbles, South but bubble. while we're walking, we're taking our walk to the bubbles, we're gonna take another stroll past Jordan Pond. I think this is the side that doesn't have uh, those cool logs, but um, it's all good stuff. Here's, here's a look at Jordan Pond. really pretty. It's also really foggy and gray today, but it's, I kind of like it better than having uh, extensive amounts of sun. So.
Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty quality. Uh, all right. <laughs> People, I'm being I'm being chased after by a big monster. Am I gonna die? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we've got some stairs to deal with. Do some climbing now, people. This is the day I die. Oh boy. Alright. I think we got it. The monster. The monster. The monster. Okay. I think we're good and we're hidden from the monster. People, we are doing all fine and dandy here. Um, we are climbing up very, very steep, steep rocks, and the bet still stands that I probably will fall and break this camera. So, and probably my face. But what could go wrong? You never know. Welcome to the top. We are at the top of uh, Bubble Rock, or pretty close to the top, and um, the view is pretty damn insane, son. If you cringed. Congratulations, that was the point. Um, but yeah, it's a long, strenuous hike of seven, what felt like 84 million minutes, but I'm sure it was like 10. And now I'm sweating my life away. So it's good stuff. We'll probably get some shots up here and, uh, and be on our way back down. Hello, and welcome to some random spot that I don't know of. I'll insert and post, I'll look it up maybe. Or maybe we'll just keep it a mystery, who knows. But um, we're at the top, it was a pain. I'm very sweaty, you didn't need to know that. And it's also very windy, so I'm kinda cold now. Um, but yeah, I just watched some person bring a German Shepherd down like the side of a cliff, which was quality content per se. And um, yeah, we're here, you get to see nature and all that fun stuff. And how, how do we feel about arriving? It's relaxing and the view is gorgeous. And it's nice and quiet. And you get to see the little cars go through. It's pretty nice, but um, yeah, good stuff. All right, we are done with the top. We better get out of here before I freeze my fingers off because the wind is like seven million miles an hour or something ridiculous like that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be heading back down and then probably back into Bar Harbor. And then uh, yeah. So, we'll keep going. Welcome to the top. This is the actual top. South Bubble, apparently, is what it's called. So, editor, which is me, I guess. You don't need to look it up. It's South Bubble. 768 feet, which doesn't seem too high. But, you know, it feels like it's high. I'm out of shape. <laughs> Sounds good. For me, bear with me if you can't hear because the wind is uh, the no bueno. Um, so... The reason this place is called Bubble, or there, there's a section called Bubble Rock is because there's a rock on the side of a cliff that looks like a bubble, and if someone one day uh, pops it, it's gonna go over the edge. It's cool, it kinda looks cool. Uh, since I'm a Muppet, I forgot to uh, take any video or do any pictures of it, but um, yeah. Another reason this could call, this is called South Bubble is because this is the southern one, but there are two peaks. I'll show you in the star photos earlier. Um, there are two peaks, one that looks like a bubble, or both. they both look like bubbles. They could also look like, no, no, get your mind out of the gutter. No, it's not that. It's um, bubbles, south and north. That's what they are. We are uh, on our way down right now. I'm totally not vlogging and going down basically a vertical slope. There's nothing to worry about. At least I don't have my camera out because this is this is quality quality phone footage. I'm probably just gonna switch back and forth between phone and camera, so you'll see probably a lot of a lot of uh, me on the pixel 
And uh, yeah, don't fall, Austin. What could go wrong? All right, hello, people. We are back again. Um, we just did some portrait photos with this nice tree, and we did them with Jessalina, and I just tried this new Sony 85 f1.8, and I love it. This portrait lens is quality content. It's so sharp. The bokeh is really smooth and nice, and it's a really, really solid portrait lens. So portrait photographers with Sony full frames or even Sony APS-C sensors, the 85 is the one to get. It's a really good portrait lens. Right, people, we made it out alive. We made it up and down. We're both dying. It's a party. Yeah, um, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Um, my legs are slightly shot. It's very windy. If you can hear me, that's great. If you can't, I might just have to subtitle it. <laughs> um, but it was definitely an enjoyable experience. The view up, up top was great. You could see the whole, what was it, Jordan Lake or Jordan Pond? Okay, it doesn't look like a pond. It reminds me more of a lake, but um, Jordan's Pond, you get to see around, you get to see behind. There's a, I think, Eagle Lake is the one behind us. And you get to go to the top, you get to see Bubble Rock. Bubble it's, Rock. A, it's all good stuff. So, did you have fun? Yeah! I had fun, so, yep, on to the That's next adventure. Heck, um, what are we doing right now? We're going out to, like, this sand strip um right outside our hotel there's this this beach or that this beach that appears or a sand strip that appears uh when the tide is low and um yeah it's it's really cool so it completely it completely disappears sometimes and then sometimes it's this cool massive sand strip that's way too that's way too yeah, this massive sand strip out here, and the people like drive out here and walk out here, and yeah, it's it's all it's it's all really cool stuff. So we're just gonna walk around. Uh, we might do some more photos. You know, the standard stuff that I've said like 17.3 million times. That's what we're gonna keep doing. So yeah. So my sister has been hunting for crabs under some rocks in the water and we're gonna, she's, it seems that she's caught one. So we're going for the big reveal. Are we ready? Cool. Oh, it's a, it's a tiny boy. It's a cute boy. Okay, camera, focus please. Oh, it's a cute boy. I know, he's escaping. Oh dear. We have a cute crab, 10 out of 10, wood, wood crab again. It's not, not big, uh, a big, big cracking guy, so. I send your crabs. Uh, we put him back in the water. So, uh, for those of you wondering if he was okay, he's he's gonna be okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're on the other side of the bank now. It's really windy. It's kind of cold, but uh, yeah, good stuff. Well, welcome to Seam Orchid. It's a Thai restaurant that also does sushi. Thai and sushi is an interesting combination, but I'm getting sushi. So, uh, what are you getting? I'm getting uh, mango fried rice. Mango, mango fried rice. So we're going to get some quality food and it's going to be great. And uh, yeah, here we go. Food time. All right. How, how did we feel about that, uh, that food? We're going to do a food review now. It was mediocre. Um, Siam Thai, I will give a... No, Siam Orchid. Siam Orchid? Wow, I'm good at this. We're good food reviewers. Uh, I give it a four and a half out of ten. What? Um, four and a half That's out of really ten. That's really low. Yeah, I know. I give it a six. The sushi. The rice was pretty good. The rice was pretty good. Okay, well, that's another opinion. The sushi was not great. Uh, there was way too much rice. The rice was too clumped together. Not enough fish. And the fish that I did get on the sashimi, or on the on the sushi, was um, very thick, chunky. It was, the, the the sushi were were chunky boys. So. <laughs> like you. Yeah, like me. I'm a chunky boy. Uh, so overall, four and a half. She gave it a six. Um, not super great, not super terrible, but you know, 
room to improve. So, review completed. Last thing on the list tonight is to grab some ice cream because that's something I need in my life is more sugar. So, yeah. He ice cream acquired, but not really. My sister got some ice cream, but um, it's always a struggle to get ice cream, especially when you have a nut allergy because of cross-contamination. So it's always an absolute party. It's always fun, but yeah, good stuff. All right, people, that is it for the night. We have ice creamed up, we have had dinner. We, are, we, uh, we went on a hike today. And that's about it, but um, no more fun plans for tonight at the moment. Um, this sh might be the last clip of the night, so hopefully you all enjoyed and we will see you tomorrow in day four of Bar Harbor where I still have no idea what's going on. So, bye!